I'm so excited to have you today. Uh, it's pretty busy, so let's go ahead and come in and get started. Two big things today. We have an online marketing event and an in-person marketing event. Both of them are CE classes, so uh, it's gonna be a little hectic. But before we do all that, I actually have some administrative work to do, so follow me. Let's head upstairs to my office. So in the morning, first thing I always do is check my emails. I tend to get a lot of emails overnight. Uh, first thing I do, uh, or last thing I do in the evening is check my emails. First thing I do in the morning is check my email. Then I deal with whatever administrative stuff is on the agenda for the day. And speaking of agendas, I have a couple. I have the paper, uh, which is basically a weekly calendar that tells me what I'm doing the week, that week, what marketing events I have, uh, anything important that needs to get done that needs my absolute attention. I have the um, actual paper agenda and I get a new one every year and it's a big deal because I spend like a week and a half designing it. I plan out my whole year every December. This paper agenda is telling me what exact task I need to do every single day, more in detail than the weekly calendar. I know that's confusing. Everyone is confused by it except for me. Uh, the next calendar we have is a digital one. It's a spreadsheet and it goes by month and it lists what marketing events we have that month, what time, and then how many people uh, are gonna attend that event so we know how to plan accordingly. The final calendar, I might've said three, I actually have four calendars, is our ISN, which is the Inspection Support Network. Um, and that is the official inspection calendar for A-Action. And then on top of that, we'll add in my, uh, any type of marketing events or any other big things going on in the company. All right. Time to go ahead and get ready for the Zoom class and the in-person class. Follow me, gotta go get changed. Okay, Zoom class first, then we'll head to Coldwell Banker SciFair for the in-person. And between that, I'm gonna give you um, a tour of my handbag, which sounds like what? But it is the best marketing handbag I have found since I've been doing this for eight years. <laughs> um, and I'll show you all the ins and outs and all the little things in it. So Zoom class first, handbag, then Coldwell Banker side here. Let's go. The bag. This is what you need to execute a perfect marketing event. First is the bag itself. This, I looked for ages for this perfect bag. And I know this isn't applicable to all of you, but just in case you're in the market for a good bag, uh, this is a low in suns bag. It's actually an overnighter. It's meant to be attached to luggage, but I found that it's perfect for marketing for a variety of reasons. First, there are a lot of different pockets in it. Um, this back pocket is what traditionally attaches to luggage, but I use it to store rubber bands. Why rubber bands? That's how you gather up all the cards at the end. This back piece right here is for computers. Keep my iPad in it, never forget my iPad. Then you have the interior section. And in the interior section, there's actually a pocket for documents. This is where I keep my Trek forms. Um, so I always have extra Trek forms in here. So when I do a marketing event, I can just pull it out. When they're done, I put them back in. And of course I can enter in the information after. It's also where I store the business cards after I collect them. And obviously my Panera receipts from all the breakfast and lunches I've done. Uh, again, easy travel. I also have the llama pouch. Why is the llama pouch important? Because it has all the HDMI connections you need for all the different types of TVs and computers you can encounter. Some offices will have their own computers. Most will require you to bring an iPad or a laptop. That's why you wanna carry the H extra HDMI adapters, especially if you use Apple products like me, I know, roll your eyes. Also, I keep a ton of pens in here. Pens are important, uh, not only to sign the Trek forms, but you never know when an agent's gonna need a pen. Good marketing opportunity there. My wallet, you don't need to see that, but the bowl. You'll see the bowl when I do the in-person class in just a few minutes, but the bowl is incredibly important. In fact, I would argue it's your most important thing other than your business cards, because this is what you use to collect everyone else's business cards in. Uh, I call it BYOB, bring your own bowl. Uh, why? Because not all offices will provide a bowl for you. So this is just a cheap thing I bought from Target. 
Um, everyone always thinks I'm bringing it so I can have snacks while I'm on the road. No, it's, it's a marketing bowl. Next thing I have, this is the pouch I use to store my giveaways. Giveaways are how you get business cards. And here at A-Action, we do Starbucks cards for the giveaways. I usually buy them in groups of 10, then I put them in the pouch, so I always know where they are. And then the pouch goes in this fantastic purse, which we'll get close-ups of everything in just a second, don't worry. Next is the back pouch. And the back pouch is where you put your personal items. So it has storage for your phone, chapstick, hand sanitizer, sunglasses, keys. That way you always know where those items are when you need them. But the best part of this bag, you're not gonna believe it. The business card holder. It has a whole side pouch. Yes, this is actually for shoes, but in this case, we're using it for business cards. I cram all my business cards in there. I never have to fumble for a fun, fumble, excuse me, just like I fumbled on the word fumble, fumble for a business card. It's always within reach. It's very, very efficient. Someone asks me for a business card. I unzip this pouch. I pull it out. I look professional and fresh and fantastic, which by the way, I always look professional, fresh and fantastic. And that's my bag. Fantastic. Well, make sure to include the link of where you can purchase it, just in case you're interested. All right, we're pulling up to Coldwell Banker Sci Fair now. And one of the big questions I always get is, how are you getting all these in-person classes? And the answer you're not gonna like, it's cold calling. And the good news is you only need to do cold calling for maybe a year, maybe two, maybe three, before people just start asking you back. So that's what's happened in the case of Coldwell Banker Sci Fair. Years and years ago, they were a cold call, and now, 2021, they just asked me to come back once a month, and sometimes once every other month, depending on my schedule. So the good news is, you don't have to cold call forever. The bad news is, to get your foot in the door, you do have to cold call. So today's class is galvanized pipes, which means I have to bring the props in. Our props we collect on jobs, um, and they're kind of a random assortment of things. So we have termite nest, we have galvanized pipes, we have cast iron pipe, samples of wiring, knob and tube samples. But these pipes really make a difference when teaching the class because it gives the agents something tactile and also helps them really understand why galvanized pipes are bad. So let's head in. And that's it. I'm exhausted. I'm sure you are too. The good news is not every day is quite as hectic as today is. Some days I'm doing a podcast, some days I'm just doing paperwork, some days I'm onboarding somebody, some days I'm out in the field all day. It really just depends. That's the beauty of owning your own business. Every day is a new adventure. On that note, I want to thank you so much for joining me today on my adventure as we did the Zoom class and the in-person CE, but now you gotta go. I need my house back. And so I show you the door. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot. My contact information is gonna be posted if you have any questions. If you're an inspector and you want the full layout on how to market, you can actually check out our handbook on how to market at www.homeiw.com and we'll include the link for that as well. Stop trying to stall me, get out. I'll see you later. Bye.